Our laboratory, the Visual Optics and Biophotonics Lab of the Institute of Optics, started in uh, 2000. And uh, since then, we have been developing research that combines uh, physical and technological approaches. We have developed equipment, we have um, tackled uh, interesting questions in refractive surgery and cataract surgery. So in a sense, uh, proposing the developments of uh, presbyopia correction alternatives is a result from um, years of uh, experience and, and work. The European Research Council has just yes, awarded a project entitled uh, by Inspired Optical Corrections of Presbyopia. Uh, it is a project for five years that will allow us to investigate basic mechanisms for visual perception, for uh, the crystalline lens mechanisms. There were about 15 people uh, involved in, in the project with uh, various uh, backgrounds. Uh, and also we will have collaborations uh, with uh, polymer scientists, with uh, mechanical engineers. The instruments that we have developed in our laboratory range from uh, techniques to measure the optical uh, imperfections of the eye, techniques to measure the geometry of the cornea and the crystalline lens, uh, techniques to understand the uh, optical structures of these um, ocular components. And also we have um, developed techniques that um, aim at comparing visual quality with uh, visual function in the eye. The ultimate aim is to understand visual quality and actually improve vision in the patient. We can provide models that are based on the optics but also on the biomechanics of the different structures. But of course we have also tested these instruments in uh, patients. Presbyopia is an ocular condition that occurs with aging. Um, it is the failure of the crystalline lens of the eye to accommodate to near and far objects. Uh, it affects everybody after the age of 45. And uh, it is estimated that about 209 million people in Europe are affected by presbyopia. This is about 44% of the population in Europe and about 22% of the active population. The young eye has a crystalline lens that is uh, flexible and that can accommodate and reshape up an, an accommodative stimulus so it can really focus near and far. However, with age, the crystalline lens loses this ability to reshape uh, under an accommodative stimulus and uh, therefore is uh, no longer able to focus near and far objects. Today there are some uh, attempts to correct presbyopia by lenses that move inside the eye. This is definitely a first step into uh, the development of accommodative intraocular lenses, although they are still far from emulating what the crystalline lens uh, in the young eye does. Presbyopia could be cured if we can replace the crystalline lens that has no longer the ability to accommodate with, a, with an intraocular lens that will uh, have this ability. So these would be uh, sophisticated lenses, um, and like the current lenses that are either monofocal or multifocal, and uh, they have to rely on the rest of the accommodative plant working, and particularly they have to be flexible and uh, sophisticated enough to really mimic the, the young crystalline lens in the eye. The project is very challenging. It covers various uh, parts that includes uh, technological developments, um, groundbreaking research on um, aspects of the visual system, uh, as well as developing 
Uh, eventually, an intraocular lens can be implanted in, in millions of people to correct for presbyopia. The research is structured in uh, three different areas. So a major area goes around the development of technologies. There is a second stage where these technologies will be used to um, understand those mechanisms, so by measuring patients and animal models. And there is a third stage where we will be aiming at new designs, new designs of um, multifocal corrections as well as uh, accommodative intraocular lenses. It's a really great opportunity to be able to, to work uh, towards uh, such a problem, to uh, correcting uh, presbyopia. It's uh, great to be able to work every day with an enthusiastic group of people and to be every day a bit closer to the solution.